I'm Elon. You're flying halfway around the world to face Jake Matthews. Uh, it looks like we just caught you, right? You're probably catching a plane soon? Yeah, 10 days, 10 days more in there in Vegas. I've been there since December, feeling great. Got Gray Maynard in my corner for the first time, and uh, that's uh, something special for me. Mm -hmm. He's a legend of the sport, man, and everything he does is like he tailored made for me. It's like he, he makes up the tricks just for me. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, and what, what it, give us an example of. Uh, a training tip or a nutrition tip, something that that Gray's taught you. Oh yeah, um, Gray's like really good. He's been in this before, you know, a lot of times, and he's done all the mistakes, and he's also also he has done all the right things that that you can do. So he's uh, he's really good at you know stupid Vikings like me. <laughs> I, I just like I go, I call it like I go full retard every day, just training my butt off. Always want to do one more, one more, and he's good at pull, pulling me back and like you know, making me do a rest week, making me do this, making like, okay, you feel good now, now you stop, and I'm like, okay, and then, and then like today we just had this deload week. Now I feel like I can crush everything, and I feel I don't know, I just, I just feel like someone, I, I don't know, I want to fight now, today. Tell me about Scandinavia in general, all of the countries. Is there a big MMA scene coming up? Hey, um, the, um, the cool thing about Scandinavia and MMA is that it, the level is really high. Okay. Like the guys that actually go pro, they they are really really good, and uh, I think that you could you could see that because it's such such a small country. It's, it's a, like we got four or five million people just in Norway, mm -hmm. and we go and we got two people in the UFC and a couple guys knocking on the door. Yeah. Denmark got. Uh, a little bit higher population, not not much, but they got three, feet, four guys in the UFC, and, and it's of really course, cool. Sweden's always had and a lot Sweden of has you know a lot of people in the UFC. So uh, I think I think uh, you know I think we're kind of made for this stuff, but also that we um, we are we are good at learning from other people. Like we're good at I'm go, I'm good at going over to the US, learning from the best here, take it back home, drill it, and then and then could do it do it again. Were you excited about the matchup? I mean, you're fighting, uh, I believe, an Australian in New Zealand. Yeah. It's almost like a home game for him. Yeah, like, for sure. Did you jump at the chance, or were you resistant at all? Oh, yeah. Like, um, the UFC, I think, finally, it's like, hey, we're going to give this guy the, 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 like something he really wants. And uh, Jake Matthew, he fought, he, he's won. Jake Matthews has won five out of his, no, I'm sorry. Jake Matthews has won four out of his five last fights. He's, he's uh, probably one of the better non-ranked fighters in the UFC. He's just like just getting up there, and uh, I, this is a great matchup for me. I'm coming off two losses, one to the champion and uh, one which I really resent uh, to talk about because it was a shitty performance by me. But um, I think it's uh, like the UFC offered, offered me the perfect fight. We jumped on it right away. Like, hey, this is perfect. We got Jake Matthews, a hard hitting Australian, and we got the uh, Viking, a mad Viking, shredded out of his mind, ready to throw hands. So, like, this, this is fight of the night, like written all over. This is gonna be a good one. Now, you mentioned the two losses. Did you feel like when when you were done with that, that you had to kind of reinvent yourself, or was it just a few fine little tweaks here and there? Um. It's uh, oof, it's hard. Uh, I really fe felt like I was doing a lot of the right stuff, but then, but then I got over here and started working with Gray, and he just like it's like a epiphany, you know. Everything just oh, shit, everything is coming together now, and uh, like you've been telling me, like it's just small small adjustments here and there. You can like you can beat the top guys, and and I really feel that like in this sparring in the practice like everything is coming together uh, and yeah it's like Valhalla 2.0 this time <laughs> hey one more question Emil the fact that you have already faced Kamara Usman is that gonna be a benefit to you going forward I mean you've already fought the best in a way you can say right yeah um, so does that kind of give you a confidence even though you, like you said you took a loss in that fight yeah. but going forward you, you know you belong you know you can compete yeah for sure like when I fought Komaro no one else wanted to fight him he's been, he's been dominating everyone in the UFC he has won every single round 
And uh, but me, I, I couldn't wait to get in there and, and prove myself against one of the very best in the world. And as you know, we crushed a, crushed a couple of ranked UFC fight now ranked welterweights and then he claimed the title from the champion Tyron Woodley in a very good fashion now he smashed Colby's face luckily and then uh, and then yeah so you know I, I got a loss that day but I still I'm still I'm, I'll never be satisfied with the loss but I also see where my value is like I can actually be there with the very best guys and, and that gives me a chip on my shoulder that I feel like I can it's, it's just small adjustments small adjustments and then uh, in this sport you know the margin of error is very 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 small and everybody's gonna lose eventually could we get a prediction from you prediction on my fight yeah violence